So now we're going to do deck height. Um, I already did it on the other side, and I, I've got about uh, about 35 thousandths um, for deck height, and I want to go uh, just about six, 60, 60 thousandths. Um, I'll post on there, you know, a link to where I got kind of the measurements and the math and all that stuff. But I'm aiming for about eight to one for compression ratio. Um, yeah, so I've already got my 20,000 shim on there. I'm going to go ahead and stick it on there without the uh, gasket sealer. Gasket sealer is going to do about 10 thousandths um, for you know, add about 10 thousandths worth. All right, I'm gonna throw a ring on there, just make sure it doesn't, pin doesn't come out. Go. Oh, I sweat the butt off. <clears throat> Good grief. All right, this next tool, Moon Down. Got this from CB Performance. Uh, it's got another piece that you can use kind of to figure out the deck height. I've measured the thickness of it um, already. So i got a couple different ways I'm going to do it. But I'm just going to take and subtract the uh, width of the plate. Um, but you want to torque it down to the same torque specs as what you would have uh, your head torqued to. I am using and verify. I'm going to use 23 foot pounds. Um, dial indicator can make this uh, a little bit more um, accurate because you can tell exactly where the top dead center is. No doubt, the highest point of the cylinder um, can just make things a little bit more accurate. All right. So I already did the math on this. The plate is <clears throat> plate is uh, 0.4575. So add sixty thousandths to that. It's going to be point five one seven five. So I'm looking for about point five one seven five. Again, it's going to be about 10,000 shorter. <sighs> yeah, going off of this, uh, we're about 0.515. Uh, we're really close to uh, 60,000. Um, so like I said, once I put that gasket sealer on the back side, uh, it's going to add a little bit of deck height. So I think we're right on point. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Same thing. Yep, yeah, 0.51. So I'm going to take all this stuff off. Put the gasket sealer on there. Put them right back on. Um, and then I torque the heads down on them. Um, and me personally, I want that that sealant to dry before I 
start doing anything else. Uh, take the heads back off, um, you know, tomorrow or something. And just measure, kind of revalidate. Uh, a roughly, like I said, about ten thousand gain from uh, from the gasket sealer. Quick note: I'm not going to bore you with every single step that I do, uh, but kind of important when you go to pull the sucker back off, you don't pull it too far, because obviously the uh, the piston is is not going to move. Um, so just pull it out far enough to where you can get to that lock ring, and then uh, take it out and go from there. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, a bead of gasket sealer in here. I'm using the ultra black uh, Permatex, yeah. Nothing crazy. Make sure you don't get this on a cylinder or the piston rather or inside the cylinder. Same thing on the other side. 